So we'll come back Nana here and then we are into the next day's program on this fusion order management implementation. And then we are to the last part of this advanced pricing, advanced shipping rather, advanced shipping. So let's go there and then complete the last part of it now. Go there, let's click on something. So now if you go there and then look at it now. <clears throat> Diffusion and then you go to the fusion order management documentation in which we have the advanced shipping. Double click on it. So we have completed this high level reservation for all, all control items. And then serial generation and inventory pick has been completed. And then serial generation sales order issues also completed. And then a business process for inspection before dispatch is also completed. Now we go for the two variants during shipping. The two variants during shipping. <clears throat> So I have forgotten the item number actually. Let me go there and search for the item now. <clears throat> go to the product management, product information management. Go to the browse items. It's something on uh, variance actually. I know it says so start with only where K99 underscore. It is a two or what? Two, and then click on search now. And I have the item like this. Yes, two variants actually. It's a two variants is the item now. So we will now have a look at the stock of this one. K992 variants. We will now have a look at the stock. You go to the supply chain execution and then go to the inventory management. Click on it. Then here, you know, you go to manage item quantities. And then item is a key 99 underscore 2. And then give it a tab now. The two variants we click on search. Hmm. Oh God. You are not having a stock here? Variants is not having any stock at all. The two variants I created the item, but I'm not having a stock now. Let me populate the stock now. I'm going to click on it. We will now populate the stock on this, and then we will now perform a real time update by which order management will be sensing it actually. I'm going to click on it. We will now go to the create miscellaneous transaction and the K991 is the one. So click on OK. <clears throat> then it is a miscellaneous result. Then I have an index of thousand. Oh, yes. Come plus. It is a K99 underscore two. And then give it a time now. It will not show you the available quantity on the software. It's not zero. Go with the click on it. I will now keep it on one of the sub inventories now. <coughs> and then put it as a thousand quantities on this. So I'm not going to populate thousand quantities over here now. And then I click on submit by which we have thousand quantities available over here. The transaction process no issues. So it's not done. Now we will not run the real time updates now. So that the order management will be sensing the change in the supplies. You go to the tools and then you go to the schedule the process. No need to collect and refresh actually. So something on a real percentage update percentage. Real time updates. So start real time start update. Start real time supply update, and then there is no parameter for this function submit now. So if there is any change on the inventory, that will be communicated to the order management area that that much of a supply is available. So there is no running now, and there is no end up in a warning. It doesn't matter. So preferably, what happens? You sign out and sign in for the system to sense it actually. Sign out and sign in. Some major changes, you better sign out and sign in. The system sense. Now we'll now go there and then create that thing. Click on it. Now I'm not going to have what happens a thousand quantities now. Uh, a miscellaneous result of thousand is received, and then sales order is now going to be made for thousand two hundred quantities. So go there. You will now create a sales order for thousand two hundred quantities. So go to the order management. And then I go to the order management. Let me create an order for 1200 quantities. If I click on create now, I'm going to get an order for 1200 quantities. 
So the customer is K99, cust1. So it will not get populated by everything now. We will not put, go there. Here, before putting it, since uh, the system uh, will now expect the stock to be available, I will now choose the order type as what? No reservation. So the reservation gets bypassed. And K99, no reservation, I'm going to use it now. So this will now bypass the reservation actually. I am now bypassing the reservation. So even if they don't have a quantity, it will be interfaced to shipping execution. Actually. Click on it. So K99 underscore 2 and then give a tab now. So you'll now have an all items price of 1 actually. So that's coming. I go there. I will now put a quantity as 1200. So I given the standard order at 2 and then all items price is 1. So it's not coming over there now. Click on add, add lines over here now. So it's not done. You go there. I will not populate the arrows over here now. So go to the supply and then it does not populate the arrows. K991 is the one. So it does not populate the arrows over here now. So I give the one. And then submit it. Now, since the reservation is bypassed, it will now progress now. And you want to save and then submit now. So the sales order is now saved now. So uh, 10,007 is the number. Finally, I click on submit. So we are submitting 10,007 over here now. So the order is submitted, 10,000 someone is submitted. So go to the actions and then here, you go to the system fulfillment view and then have a look at it. Now since we have used no reservation as a transaction type, that will be bypassing the reservation and then it will be getting interface to shipping execution. So I will click on the order orchestration. So scheduling is now about to open, click on refresh. It is now scheduled and then the reservation will be bypassed now. It is not applicable, it will not come out. Reservation will be not applicable actually. So this is a standard process in e-business. Reservation has been normally uh, not applicable now. If you put a reservation, if you put a reservation, that will be honored actually. And there, only whatever is available, we can reserve it. Now, 1000 is the availability and then 1200 is a requirement actually. So if you go and then see this place now, I click on it. So it's what is. Upon booking, the customs is, uh, do, do, is, uh, do progress to awaiting shipping actually. Create a shipment for our order. When actions, you're going to launch the pick release, the detail will now get split into do one for thousand as a staged, and then the remaining 200 will be back ordered actually. The remaining 200 will be back ordered. The S4 line will now remain intact with the, with the status of a picked partial, but I have now written it, uh, basically this is written it for uh, EBIS actually. Here, it doesn't go to, I think it is not, it will not go to picked partial. We will now have a look at it, whether it goes to picked partial or not. I don't think here that status is communicated that. So we have a concurrent for interfacing the shipping execution to order entry, right? inform the feeder system like that now, and then send shipment advice. The send shipment advice is only communicating it. I think this will not get communicated. I'm not sure about it. I forgot on the text. Click on the first one. We'll see. It will be going to ship, awaiting shipping. So it has now gone to this. 10,007 is now awaiting shipping. Fine. Right click on the duplicate now. You now go there. And then query the 10,000. So you go to the supply chain execution, and then I go to the inventory management, and then I go to the shipping now. <clears throat> you click on it, you will now go to the shipping now. Drop it down and then go to the shipments now. <clears throat> and then here, I will now go to the manage shipment lines. And then <clears throat> here in this place, as Malcolm told, we will now use this one now, fine. So that what happens, you do not have to fill up the column. I will now put the order number now. 10,007 is the one. So I click on search now. So this someone is now getting popular over here automatically. So once when you search for it, it will now take you to the main column <clears throat> where we can launch the pick release. So we need 1,200 quantities. And so since we have one year stock of 1,000, what it will do is it will now, what happens, you go there, it's not done. So I will now auto create a shipment also. I will now, now itself, I will now create a shipment now. I click on auto create shipment. I'm now getting a shipment number actually here. So let me auto create a shipment now. So the shipment number is coming. So once when the shipment number is created, find 30,002 is the one. Find that. So click on OK now, the shipment number is created. So I will now go there, go to the actions and then go to pick release now. The pick release is going to split the line. It will now split the line. We have 1,000 available in the inventory. It will now split the line. The concurrent is running now. So once when it is completed, the line will be getting split. 1,000 are staged and then the 200 will be back ordered. So give us even close now. You know how look at it. So 1,000 will be staged. It will be splitting into two now. <clears throat> so you can see it is not started. Ready to release only. I will go and make a search again. So click on search now. <clears throat> you can now see. Uh, it is now still ready to release. I think the concurrent is not at run now. So 
even close. Once when the country runs, it is now run. So now you can now see thousand quantities is now staged. Two hundred is back ordered, and then for the staged one, the shipment number is also created. So now, now, when the carrier arrived, the shipping person found what happens a dent in the corner of a carrier, and it is not fit for carrying the entire thousand quantities. So the driver assures that to send another small vehicle immediately to carry at least for the balance of the hundred quantities. He is saying at least I will not send another big tempo which will not carry the seventy-five quantities. It is a specific case only in India, not for abroad actually. And then now what happens? I am not going to give a few more details. And then mention the point. The ship to quantity is nine hundred, and then the back order quantity is twenty-five, and then save the record. In this place, what happens? I am going to do. So he is not doing it. Now I am going to click on it now. So I go there. So in this place, what happens? I will not say the ship to quantity is going to be nine hundred, and then what happens? And then the what happens? The stage to quantity. I am going to click on it. So the back order quantity, I will not say it as twenty-five, and then I will not save the record. So Now we are going to ship only 900. 25 is now getting back ordered. The remaining 25, remaining 75. What you are going to do is we will now what happens? A create what happens? A shipment also and then stage it actually. So give a save now. And give a save. So 900 is getting shipped and then this is what the scenario is. The driver assures to send another small vehicle immediately to carry 75 quantities. So click on the details and then I am going to see it now. 900 is a 25 is going to be back ordered. Actually. So unta uh, man guess eh? Go there. So it is back ordered. And then uh, what happens? So give a save now. Fine, it's not done. <clears throat> so here we can change the ship confirmation option now. Fine, click on the shipment number now. Fine, click on the shipment number. Here I am going to make a change of the shipment number. So go to actions, and then here I can change what happens. The ship confirmation options. Fine, click on it now. Fine, what what are you going to do now? So here I am now saying the requested quantities instead of what I was saying now, change it to what ship the quantities now. Ship the quantities, and then. Options if ship quantities are not manually entered now. Ship to quantities are not manually entered. Sir. So we are entering it actually fine. Uh, we will now bring it to the stage now. Fine, sir. Yeah, options if ship to quantities are not manually entered. Uh, uh, what happens? Ship the requested quantities. That is what I am saying. Fine, remaining. And then create the shipment for remaining stage. Fine. Sir. I am not going to create a shipment also. So I am not going. If you don't do it, what happens? For the seventy-five quantities, it will not create a shipment number at all. If you put a tick mark now here, I am now performing 900 to be shipped actually, and then 25 is back ordered, and then for the remaining 75, I am now going to put a tick mark for creating the shipments also, creating shipment for the remaining quantities. It will not create a shipment, and then the close the shipment, existing shipment will be closed actually. So these are the changes I am making now. I will click on save and close now. I change the shipment con ship confirmation options. Now done. So give us save now. So actions done. Now we will now perform a ship confirmation on this one. So I am now in this place. Fine. Nine hundred will be shipped, and then what happens? It will now get split into what three more lines now. The thousand quantities will be split into nine hundred, seventy-five, and twenty-five, and then for the seventy-five, it will now create what a shipment number also. So click on ship confirmation. So upon ship confirmation, what happens? You are getting a warning now. Fine. Ship confirmation. It passes warnings, and then the weight and volume. You can ignore it actually. Fine. Weight and volume is okay. Fine. Click on yes now. Fine. It is now getting ship confirmed. So in the meantime, if you go there and then have a refresh of this order, it is now picked partial, but it will not show you anywhere at all. There is picked partial. So go there. It will not show only awaiting shipping now. And in this place also, I don't find any picked partial. It is there. It is nice now actually. And go there. Click on it. So it has to show me awaiting shipping only. It is not showing. In Ebus, it will not show you as picked partial. Here, it is not coming at all. It is not interfacing it to order entry at all. Refreshing. What happens? You can see. You know that. Now this is now running now. And go there. Click on it. So it is now running. So go there. So it will now go there and see now. Fine, so it will now make a search again now on this now. You make a search and click on search now. You can now see that 900 is now shipped and then it will now run. What happens? A concurrent for interfacing it to this thing. Now. <clears throat> If you go to the tools and then have a look at the schedule process now. So click on the schedule process. You can now see this concurrent again now. You know what I mean? So the send shipment advice upon completion it is equal to ITS now. It will now communicate how much has been shipped because the shipped quantity has to be billed now. My, whatever is shipped is now communicated back. It is now communicated. You go there, click on it. Now you can see. Click on refresh now. If you refresh it, the line has to get split into two now. It is now shipped. It is now showing you. Nine hundred is now shipped. What about the remaining ones? If you expand it, it is now showing. The remaining hundred quantities is now has to be shown. Nine hundred is now shipped. What about the remaining? Oh God. I don't know where exactly it is now show. I click on the now. Nine hundred is now shipped now. So yeah, in the main area it is now getting split now. Fine, go there. So in this place, in the fulfillment lines, it is not getting split now. Fine, go there. Click on it. It is not getting split now. Fine. It is not shipped. It is not partially picked. Okay, fine. Here at least it is not showing partially picked. 
so out of this remaining fine out of 300 uh, it is now partially picked fine so we have we don't have any quantities for 200 and then 25 has been back ordered in the staging area itself fine so it is a 200 plus 25 plus 75 it comes to 300 now 25 is now back ordered in the staging area we are now back ordered in the staging area 75 is now repacked actually the 75 is repacked so if you go on and have a look at it now and 75 is repacked and if you click on this one and what happens it will not show you anything here now fine go there is not there it is not showing you what uh, partially picked one day <clears throat> and then no reservations there and then in this place if you go to the shipment lines you can now see the 75 has got a shipment number also shipment number also so here you go there and then ship confirm the 75 and click on it if the line will be further split into one more now and click on ship confirm the line will be getting further split into one more because that is also going out now because he has now sent a small tempo for it now so it's now running so we will now see another concurrent will be running another send shipment advice will again run now Send ship on the middle again. <clears throat> ship confirmation documents. Send ship on advice is no running. So once when this gets completed, uh, uh, you will now have a visibility of three lines on the sales order area. No running. So three lines will be there. Go there. So it will be three lines. Click on the first one. So go there. And then uh, here. You are seeing this now. Fine. Click on done and then come out of the main line now. Main line will be getting split into three now. So 75 is also shipped actually. 75 is also shipped. 9 is also shipped. The 225 consists of what? 200 with no quantities and then 25 is now back ordered in the staging area. So we are now seeing the first variant now. The first variant is now shown to you. It is all done now. And then you know, doing this now. And the balance of any quantities is not options. Read all these things, document now. Now the second variant now. PR the second the, 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 the does where you're doing the PRing for the 25 quantities now. The back order quantity is now lying on the space. Let us not do the PRing now. Let us not do the PRing for this what's called the 25 quantities and select it. And then this I'm going to PR. So I have two 20 quantities and go click on it. Let me create a shipment for this and then do the PRing now. Click on it. Auto create shipment. I'm going to make it now. And shipment number is now getting created. So I will not do the PRing. For PRing, I go there, click on it, I'll move the PRing. So now it will be split into 225 now. So here I will not see this now. So once when you PR it, what happens? The PR, uh, this back order detail of 25 quantities will now do what? There are two activities on this now. First of all, it will now create a movement request and then allocate and then print pixel prepare and then bring it to the staging area. This is already completed because these 25 quantities are already lying only in the staging area. And then what happens? You are now going to clean way and then make it ready for ship confirmation. So PR process is basically ensuring this too. Since the first activity is already completed and then the items are already available in the staging area, it is now going to ensure that you are cleaning and then weighing it. Fine with that. So we'll not do it now. Fine with that. Fine with that. So I'll now go, go to the actions and I'm going to pick release now. Fine. So the 200 which is now not having material, that will be getting back ordered. The remaining 25 will be staged actually. The remaining 25 will be staged. I'll go there and this is now. The remaining 25 will be staged actually. Fine. No back order. So you know, go there and it because we have the material there and so for which what happens is you can now search for it and then you can now do this. So the remaining 25 will be staged actually. Be staged. Now the second variant is coming. Now he is now sending a vehicle for this. Fine. PR is back out quantity. Since the first activity is already completed, PR the process will ensure the second activity is staged. Now your vehicle is coming. The, the, the shipment company is now saying, sir, 20 will definitely go. Two may not go. Two will not go. He is now assuring two things. One is out of 25, 20 will definitely go in the vehicle. Two will never go in the vehicle. The remaining three, you may have to adjust and then adjust and then see. Fine. This is considered as an unspecified quantity. So you may able to serve the ship the three if you are adjusting it. Otherwise, what happens? That will also get back on. So the balance three quantities, this is called unspecified quantity, which you are going to mention on the ship confirmation parameters. But what you are going to do with the option, if ship to quantities are not manually entered. The three quantities, what do you want to do? So this is what has, so 20 will now definitely go, 2 will not go, the 3, what you are going to do, you are going to mention it here. I will now click on the 25 number on the shipment now and click on it. Actions and then I will now go to what? Change ship confirmation options now. So here I will now choose this option and then I will now say if the unspecified quantity, I am going to stage it or I will not make it as back order also. Whichever way you want, you can do it. And it's not manually entered means what? It will be done. So the three quantities which I am not going to mention will be staged actually. It will not be back ordered. So you can now choose this option now. And then I will now create a shipment also for the staging quantity. And click on several books. So I am now changing the ship confirmation options like this now. You know, request quantities go there. And then the unspecified quantity, I am going to stage it actually. Thank you, on several books. 
so go there and then in this place i am going to say in the bottom what happens i will not put the shipped quantity as what as 20 now and then the back ordered quantity is what the back ordered quantity is 2 now that is what is i am not putting it these two things the remaining three are un unspecified quantity that will be staged and then the ship fund will be created or you can even back order it or you can even send it for cyclic counting also there are multiple options available you know so i'll not put it 20 and 3 and then click on ship confirm the second variant for this one so click on s yes, now and then so it is not done ship confirmation is not done find for the 20 quantity is fine for the quantity so you now go and then requery this now so click on search now you can see that now 20 quantity is now shipped and then it is now running over there now and then uh, out of the three which has now got what happens is staged actually we should have even given an option of what of uh, what happens uh, sending it for back ordering or even for cyclic counting also and then a shipment number gets created also and then they are all interfaced and then if you go on and query this this 20 quantities will be interfaced to order entry actually go there click on it and then click on search now and then you can see the 20 quantities also interfaced and then if you go to the sales orders it will be getting split into four now. and if you click on refresh now the line would have got split into four the fourth line will be coming now so click on done and then see on the main area and go to it so it's now coming so here it is now coming as a back order now find click on refresh now find so the concurrent of the shin ship and base is now saying what happens the 20 is now shipped and then the remaining two not five is now partially equipped so out of which we have five quantities available in the staging area which is now staged and then 200 is not having any material at all that is why what happens when we getting the staging and then if you run the for the line what happens if, if, once when it in the run the order invoice import it will be getting what it will be getting information and that what happens is no invoice is created actually so this completes all the topics on the advanced shipping any doubts okay fine now we'll now go for the next topic you now <clears throat> so shipping is now complete almost now so if you go there a uh, go to the e, uh, c colon now find if you go to the fusion additional docs of records <clears throat> so there if you go on and have a look at it now so there is one document 53 now find the 53 document these are the items which are going to be used for demo so what happens i will be uh, creating all the items and then i will now do the collections and refresh remember only for the supply we can do the start real time update but for the items and then organizations we have to run the collections as well as refresh also and now that i will be doing it afterwards now fine you may not have to waste time over here now and the point and then here now i am going to go for what i want say kit item now fine this one so i am not going to have a laptop kit now my laptop kit is there so it will be having a laptop it will be having a carry case and then it will be having a two year warranty so a kit will be comprising of multiple components we will not have a look at the kit now. i already got d0 is 010 is a kit actually And then one 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 two fine or the things so laptop carry case and warranty. You now have a look at how I have created it now. We are now going to go and then see a kit item. So you go there, you go to the what's called <coughs> your uh, product management, and then go to the product information management. Now click on it now. Ready? Go. Good mission. Okay. <clears throat> now I will now go to the browse items now, and then I have created a thing called D zero one one zero. If I want to click on it, I will now go there. So D zero one one zero is the one. I'm going to click on search. I'm going to search for it. So once I search for it, it is basically a kit item now. D zero one one zero or K ninety nine one zero. I'm not sure what what the number I have given. K ninety nine one zero. Yeah, the key ninety nine zero is a laptop laptop kit now. So I will now query on the master now. Fine, laptop kit is the one. It is a kit item actually. If you go there, it's a kit item. Fine, go there. So here, if you go there, you go to the what's called structures actually. I have now created the structure actually. Fine, go there. Click on it. I will now click on the primary structure. This kit comprises of three quantities now, three items actually. The kit comprises of what is the contents of laptop and then the carry case and then the two year warranty extension warranty. I will now create and show it to you about how to create a structure actually. I'll be showing you this is a structure. Now, here, structure creation is slightly different, slightly different only, but not the great extension actually. You know, create a structure and then show it to you. So this is what else? And then I will now query the one. Fine, you cancel now. Fine, K nine 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 one one. I will now query now. K nine nine one one. I am going to make a search now. I click on search now. So this is a laptop now. My laptop. So I will now click on the master. So here I go there, and then this place. What happens if you go and then go to the specifications? This is a shippable item actually. 
laptop is a shippable item. If you go there, you can now see that what I was order management transactions enabled actually. And then here it is very much shippable and then billable also. Invoice is also enabled, invoice is also enabled. Here, most of the attributes, most of the things are controlled by item attributes actually, instead of what happens workflow actually. We will now use only the generic process workflow and then most of the activities are controlled through item attributes as far as fusion is concerned. <clears throat> uh, and then we will now use the generic, generic will now take care of everything. So this is invoiceable and then invoice enabled once again. <clears throat> So this is billable as well as a shippable actually. This is now billable and shippable. Go there. So give a cancel now. <clears throat> and then you know, go for the one two item. Now. One, two. Go there. Click on it. So this is basically a carry case. So carry case, what I'm doing is I will not ship it, I will not bill it. It is a free item actually. So click on the specifications now. I click on the specifications. And then I go to the sales and order management. So the carry case, if you go on and see it now, I'm going to click on it. So here the invoice is no no. But it is shippable actually. We will not ship it, but it will never be getting interface to order entry at all. Order or other uh, AR at all. It will never get interface to AR. It is shippable, but it is not billable. And then we will now go for the final item. It is 1, 2 now. 1, 3. So 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2. And then 1, 1, 1, 2. And 1, 3 is the final one. It is basically a two year warranty now, an extended warranty. So the extended warranty we are giving it, we are not going to ship it now. We will only bill it now. The extended warranty will only be built and then it will not be shipped actually. And go to space. And then go to the specifications. So click on the specifications. And then here, if you go there, go to the sales and order management. So this will not be shippable, will be no on this. Shippable is no now, whereas invoicing is as such. So this item will not be shipped, it will only be built actually. It will be interfaced to this now. And you can see. So this is not done now. So we are not completed everything. Now I will not tell you about how to create a kit actually. I will not make one dummy kit because I already created a kit and then I have interfaced already. Let me create a kit now. So go there, go to this place. I will not create an item and then show it. So click on create item. So we are going to show you this one now. I will now put K990 is the master. So the root item class, I am populating it now. Go there. I will not click on OK. I'm sorry, uh, I should not apply a purchase template. I should apply a kit template actually. I made a mistake here. Let me apply a kit template in the group now. So click on create item. I will now put the master on it. I have to apply a kit template now. So I will now throw away this now. Good item class is now. I will now remove this now and then bring the kit over here. Okay. Kit, item. kit template I'm going to create. The kit template I'm going to apply. So click on OK now. It is a kit template now. Uh, I, I will now say K99 underscore dummy. <clears throat> because I am not going to use it now. Only for creation I am doing it. I have already done the K9910 over there now. That has already been collected and refreshed actually. So having applied the kit, what happens? The kit is not having these things. So what happens? You go there, make it as active. And then I make it as a production. And then there is a kit item. And then go there. And then you go to the overall area. You will now put what the... Primary units of measures now. <clears throat> Each is the one. Okay. And then here I go there. And then I've given everything now. So go to the specifications and have a look at it. <clears throat> so it is a standard bomb only. Remember, the kit is a standard bomb. It is not a model option class or anything else. Right? It is a standard bomb only. Right? That means what? The components are fixed actually. If you see, the components of a kit are fixed. So it will have one laptop, it will have one carry case, and then one warranty. So this is a standard bomb actually. The kit item is a standard bomb. And then if you go to the sales and order management of this one, and then how about it now? And here, what happens? It is not shippable now. The kit cannot be shipped at all. But what happens? We can, what happens? We can go there and then invoicing is very much possible. And then once when you're doing a kit, actually, we can only give the price of a kit and then not of the laptop. You might now be selling it separately. Laptop may be having a price. The carry case may have a price. The two-year warranty may have a price. But when you're selling it as a kit, the kit price only will be populated on the AR now, not the components price. The components price will never come at all. Only the kit's price will now get populated on the AR. Even though the components are going to have a price, they will not come over here. So the kit only can be negotiated for a price actually. We can only negotiate the price for this. So it is invoiceable, but not shippable. And then in the manufacturing area, it is a standard bond. It is a standard bond. So now after having created the item, what happens? First you had to create the item and then give a save. And give a save. So give a save now. 
So item gets created on the screen. Scan and dummy is now created. Now I am now going to create the bomb now. The bomb I'm going to create now. I'm going to the structures now. I click on the structures. Let me create the bomb for it. I will now click on bomb. So I will now go to this place, item structures, actions, and then I will now create. I'm now going to create a bomb. Click on create. And then go there. I will now make it as a primary bomb now. I know that. It's a primary bomb. Primary bomb. So we can even have the alternate and then secondaries also. I click on OK now. So you know, go apply and then add details. I click on apply and then add details to the mock. I click on apply and add details. So by which what happens? We are now going to do it. So we are now going to create what happens? We are now going to add the components to it. Go there. So click on actions and then select an act. I'm going to select an act. So I already have the items available here. Okay, nine nine and then uh, one and then uh, I will now query for it. I'm going to on search. So here you can now see the kit itself is coming. The laptop, I will now add it now. With the control, I'm selecting multiple components now. With the multiple components, I'm selecting with the control. Now. Click on apply and then go. Click on apply and then click on okay. By which order? the components gets added to the kit bomb. The kit is a standard bomb for which what happens it all gets added. And you know I did. So click on done now. And now what you have to do is you have to assign this to organization now. Find that. Now on the main master org, we are now created the bill now. So I will now go to the associations and let me associate with the child dog. Go to the actual actions and set up an ad. So we are now create a bill now. I will now put K991 over here and then entering now. Coming at one, click on apply and then click on done now. So it is not done. So the item is now assigned to the org and go there. Click on it. You will now give a save and close now. Fine. K99 dummy is now getting ready. Save and close. Now the bomb for the child is not yet done now. You have to do like this now. Fine. You create an item and then create the bomb in the master. And then associate the child and then save and close now. Now you go and then query the item. Go to the browse items now. And click on the browse items. So here I will now query the item. It's a K99 underscore dummy. So dummy, I'm going to make a search now. And you're searching for the dummy. You're now done. Fine, go there. So now open up the child now. Child org, I'm going to open up and then I'm going to get the bomb there now. Fine. The master, the bomb is already existing. The child, I'm going to build now. So click on the child org number and then I go to the structures. If you go to the structures, there will not be any structure existing. No, go to actions and then here what happens? I can even create a separate bomb. Normally, what happens? You will either create from the you need a copy from the master or you will not common it. So once when you common it, when you make a change on the master, the changes will be reflected on all the child's actually. So this is the best practice actually. So create from a common so that you cannot modify this bomb in the child org at all. Create from common means what? The child or components cannot be modified. So clear, create from common. That is the best practice. Copy also is possible now. Create from copy. I will not put the master over here. So click on it, K99, and then let me put the master over here. The master. And then here we have already the dummy available here. Now. K99 underscore DU, and then give it a tab now. Dummy is available. So we have a bomb for this particular item in this master or from there, what happens? I'm going to perform more commoning now. And click on OK, by which what happens? The commoning will be performed. And click on OK, by which I am now performing commoning now. So a concurrent will run now. So once when the concurrent gets completed, 113 one, ending, concurrent is now running. I go there. So 113 one, ending, concurrent is now running now. So once when the concurrent gets completed, you can now see a bomb getting created on the child org actually. So it is basically any bomb creation or whatever it is, is all item importantly. Any changes to the item, structures or any parameters of the item, what happens? It will now run the item import only. Item import is the common concurrent which will be running now. So once when it gets completed, you can now see the bomb available on the child org. Item processing import moving. So item import is now got passed now. So we had to wait for all the concurrents to complete. And then only what happens? We can now see on this place the bomb getting created actually. So now afterwards, what happens? We go there and then give a save and close now. Save and close. And then again requery this now. Fine. Again requery. Fine. Click on search now. Once when the bomb is created, you now go to the child org and then see now, fine. the bottom is the child org. If you go on and have a look at it, you can now see the bomb available over there. Now. Click on the structures now. You can now see the bomb. So the bomb is yet to come because the concurrence is not running now. Fine. So the main ARM import is still running. So only when it gets completed, what happens? You can now see the bomb over here. And that bomb cannot be modified since it is common from the master. We cannot modify the bomb. We cannot add any elements and then we cannot add other things also. Now import on the child is not running now. Import child, import item, import child is not running. So once when everything gets completed, 
what happens? You cannot see the bomb coming up over here. No? I will not give a cancer. No? I will not give a search again. No? Go there. So we want to click on it. And then go there. And then go to the structures. No, I can click on it. Mandichi, we got it. So click on the primary one and then hover over it. The bomb components cannot be added. Just you need to know the things that will not be working at all. We have one more concept called options and mutually exclusive. I'll be discussing about it during configurator. So during configurator, I'll be discussing about the options and mutually exclusive on this one. So that's it. Fine. Go there. It's not done. We cannot modify. You cannot add any component. Fine. Go there. Actions. And then if you want to select and add, everything is grayed out because it's a common bomb. In a common bomb, we cannot edit. And then we cannot delete. We cannot do any select and add. You want us. So this is a common bomb. Now, we will not have a look at the pricing of this. Now, fine. Go there. Click on it. We will not have a look at the pricing. So you click on the home icon and then have a look at the pricing. So I will not go to the order management and then I will not go to the pricing administration. Now. We will not look at the price. We have on all items price of one, but here what happens? Uh, we have now given a price now. Go to the manage price list now. Click on the manage price list. Here I will not query for the item. So I will not query for the first of all the price list now. So click on search. We are now searching for the price list. Open it up. And then we will not query for the items. The item is what? K99 11 now. Fine. 11 is laptop actually. Fine. Click on search now. You know the, you're not having a laptop. So the laptop is now having a price of 100 actually. Fine. Laptop is having a price of 100 now. So the laptop is having a price of 100. So we will not search for the 12 now. Fine. 12. Is a carry case now. Fine. So click on search now. So carry case is normally a free item, but if a customer is asking only for a carry case and not the laptop, you are going to price him now. $10 is the price for it. If he's asking separately, what happens? We'll now sell it at $10. But along in the kit, it is now given as a free. Now. In the kit, it is now given as a free. So the carry case is basically uh, okay, fine. Even on the separate one, also, what happens? You can now sell it only as a free item because it is not having the invoicing enabled actually. Uh, invoicing is not enabled. Uh, the carry case will be only shippable and not billable actually. We cannot sell it actually. Otherwise, we had enabled the invoicing. It's not enabled. Fine. So we'll now go for the final item. I will now go for one three now. So the carry case is having a price of ten now. Fine. Click on search now. And then the this one is now having a price of five. Fine. The the two year extended warranty is now having a price of five. So hundred ten and five. And then we will now see the what's called the price of the kit itself now. Click on it. We'll now have a look at the price of the kit. Now. Fine. That is one zero now. And have a look at the price of the kit. Now. Let's click on it. So the price of the kit is what? So it is now hundred and five. So now let us say the customer is asking for let us say for the three ones, it is a hundred percent plus five, something like that you're putting as a kit price. And then you know allow the manual adjustments also. So suppose the customer is saying, I want three kits now. Fine. If you want three kits, we can even negotiate the price and then put the best price on this. So kit price, so remember the individual components price will never be interfaced to AR now. So you'll go there. You know, seeing the pricing now. We'll now go on and have a look at it now. Fine. Click on it. We'll now get the sales order and see how it's behaving now. Click on it. We'll now have a look at the sales order. So go to the order management, and then here I will now go to the order management. So let us now create a new order now. I'll click on create. I will now populate my customer over here now. Okay, K99. And the customer is now getting populated. Now coming on. I will now add the kit first of all. So I click on it. I will now add the kit. Click on it. So here order type is only for what? If you do not run the DO generic process now. Then only the order type will be coming. Otherwise, what happens? You will not leave it blank. So the DO generic process will not take care of everything. Depending upon the item attribute, it will not uh, ship it or build it. Only the or ship and build. So K ninety nine one zero the one. I will not populate the kit. Now the customer is asking for three kits now. Is one not five the price? And the three kits is asking for. So at this time, what happens? We can even give a discount. So we will not go there. We will not give a discount on this. Click on this now. Find the click on it. Uh, only after addition, I think you can give a discount. Now. Click on add. Only after add, I think we can give a discount. Add it, and then afterwards we can give a discount to him. So three quantities, three kits is asking for. Now you go there. We can very well give a discount on this one. Fine, brother. Click on it, and then uh, there is a thing on this one. Fine, edit line details. No, fine. I don't know how to edit line details, or I will not click on the amount itself. No. I'm not sure about. Fine, brother. Come on, come on. Okay, I think we are do via this one. Fine, click on it. We will not edit on this one. Fine, brother. Edit line details. Delete. Manage adjust managements. Edit edit information. Edit tax. I think this may be only edit line details. I think. Right. Oh, not this one. Fine, go there. It is only going to edit the line details actually. Fine. There is a edit icon on the price actually. So we have an edit icon on the price. So you have to use this and not this one. So here 
I will not say discount percentage or otherwise I will not say discount amount. No. So I will not put a total amount of what I will not say a discount amount of let us say twenty dollars in the each price actually. I will not give let us say ten dollars. Ten dollars discount I am going to give. The reason I am going to say what happens I will not say it is a sales negotiation. And then click on it. Find ten dollars now given. So it is not one not five. The net price is now ninety five for each now since he is going for three now. The sales negotiation is made ninety five percent plus. So the entire kit is now going to cost you only ninety five dollars. Now here, what happens? I will now add the individual components also. Okay, ninety nine, and then one one I am adding it now. Fine. I will now add one. So I will now give okay now fine. Only one quantity I am now adding it now. Laptop, and then I will now add. What happens? We go there. K ninety nine one two I am adding it now. So one two I am adding it now. Fine. Click on add now. Fine. This is for ten dollars now. It will never be built at all. The ten dollars will never be built at all because the billing is absent now. Fine. One three. I go there. It's a two year warranty. So apart from the kit, I am now adding three elements also separately. So three elements are also so it's not added. So we have the kit now, fine, and then the three ones for the kit match. So you now give a save. Upon saving, you can now see the kit has got three components. It will not show. I am now saving it now, fine. There's no save. Now what happens? You can now see the kit is now having three components now, fine. Oh, it's not showing. I don't know it's showing. You we'll now go there. Ah, it's showing here. So it has got three components of eleven, twelve, and thirteen now. And remember, none of them will be interfaced to AR. Only the kit will be interfaced to AR upon completion. But here, laptop is shippable and billable. Carry case is shippable only, and then this two-year extended warranty is billable only. Whereas these three are also appearing separately. So let us now submit the sales. Can you can you can you click on the more? If you click on the more, it shows you only the details actually. If you click on the more, it shows you only the more. The more is not showing only the details. So the kit is a standard bomb, and then it has got three components. And then it is now showing you these three items also. Let us now submit it now. Now you now see how it is progressing on the work order, now. on the on the this generic process. How it is now progressing? You now see. So the one the one one zero 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 eight is now made now. Click on OK now. And I go to actions and then I go to the switch to fulfillment view. I am going to have a look at it now. In the fulfillment view, we can see it now. Now you can see that these are all not started. Fine. Here we have this bomb now. First item is that is a bomb now. Fine. You have a bomb also. You click on the model. It will not show you this model. So the model is not shown now. Fine. What happened? Oh God! I have forgotten to put the arrows. So arrows I have forgotten to put. So now here also we can populate the arrows actually. Fine. There's a message that what happens? The scheduling might have failed now because the arrows is not there. So we are not given the arrows now. Fine. So it is not. So let us now correct the problem now. Fine. Click on down. We'll not correct the problem. Now. So I will now select multiple lines can be selected. I'm not sure about it. Select all. Now. So the last line is basically two-year warranty only. So no warehouse is required now. I have selected multiple lines and then go to actions and then go to edit now. Actions edit. I'm going to put it now. Actions edit. And then here the warehouse I have forgotten to put on the warehouse. I'm going to click on it. I will not put the warehouse in. And then uh, uh, Bignesh was selling. If you give it to the customer, it will be coming now. Uh, I have not tested it actually. I am putting the arrows, and then click on save and close. Now, what happens? It will now automatically correct the arrows. There is no need to what happens. This is no running for these three lines now. Fine. There is no need to record the order at all. Our order recovery is not required. So once when you go to actions and then edit, we can edit so many things actually here. Not only warehouses, there are so many things. The, uh, the supplier can be edited, uh, and then the shipping method can be demand class. There are so many things there. Overriding the scheduled ship date can be edited now. The scheduled arrival date also can be edited. If you click on the arrows, these two things also can be changed via edit now. Actions edit will now facilitate a lot more. So you will now give a refresh now, and refresh the export has to go. And if it's still not going, I had to I had to record it. I think normally it will. So user request status is now yes now. Fine with that. So it has to go away now. It is now processing. It has to go away. Hmm. Or otherwise, what happens? We have to initiate a schedule now. Right? Click on it, select it. So we can even either actions and then go to recover order, or I can initiate a scheduling now. I have already selected all and add actions and then what happens? I schedule it now. I will now schedule the uh, scheduling has failed actually because the warehouse is missing. Now what happens? I know initiating a schedule. I can recover the order or I can even initiate a schedule through actions. Actions edit is one thing, and then action schedule is one. Action edit has now edited the warehouse now. Now the user is now the process now. I will give a refresh. The X mark has to go away everywhere. Now the scheduling is happening. Now, now keenly watch how it is progressing on the work order. Click on it. You will now have a look at the work order. 
now this is now going to awaiting billing directly because this is now going to be only billed actually so it is now ready for what happens order invoicing now this is not started now i click on refresh now it is not at started now i go there so here it is scheduled now these two are scheduled actually these two are scheduled my there what the laptop and the carry case are shippable now they are scheduled now i go there scheduled the first one has not started now i click on refresh now <coughs> they are not scheduled and then they will be going what happens to awaiting shipping actually resolved and then reservation is also complete and go there click on it and then it will be going to awaiting shipping if you expand this now fine expand this now expand the first line you can now see further also see fine the the kit has not started whereas the laptop is no reserved the carry case is reserved and then for the what's called for the warranty is no saying not started so i expanded that bill now and then i'm seeing it now thank you monica now here you can see whatever has to be shipped has now been interfaced to shipping execution so these two are awaiting shipping and then these two are awaiting shipping fine the laptop and carry case and then this is not started because it will not start is only for this thing now fine the kit is not started actually so once when these two things are done then it will be going to awaiting billing this should go to awaiting billing only i don't know why it's showing awaiting shipping actually or it should not have started actually or some other state awaiting shipping is not a correct state as actually kit should not be shipped actually fine so there are four components which are interfaced to shipping execution we will now go on the ship them now and this is already awaiting billing this is now showing as not started this is correct actually because once when the shippable items are complete this will now start to progress actually on the work flow because it's only a billable item on the kit actually so this should also show some other status but it's not showing awaiting shipping i don't know why it's so somebody analyze it now fine let's go let us now go to the shipping execution and then what is the order number now order number is what 1000 10000 something now what is the number order number anybody remembering it now uh 10000 10008 the source order is 10800 so you know go to the shipment line and then here uh, what happens you go the manage shipment line so you know query the 10000 10800 10, go to query 10800 let me go there will be four items two on the kit and then two separately i go there so the uh, the, the, the laptop and all select all the things from and select it with the control i am selecting it now selecting it i will now auto create shipment for this one and then let me do pick and ship so you know done so laptop and carry case of a kit and then they are separately also ordered now and click on it now so now go to this place click on it now and this is one no way i will now go to actions and then go to launch pick release it will now pick automatically it will not have any problem and click on okay now it is not getting picked now so go and see it will be staged all the four lines will be staged actually and that so it is ready to release you can now go and query it again <coughs> click on search now it will all be getting staged now Pickles has been launched now, so it's still showing ready place. It takes some longer time actually. Ten thousand eight is the one. It is all staged actually. Again, select all the lines and then you now perform one ship confirmation together now. Select it, select it, select it in the first line also. Select all the four lines. So click on the shipment line and then you now ship it. Not necessarily select because the three to thirty to thirty one zero zero five has got all the things now. Fine, put it there. All things are there. So go there. So I will now. If you don't give the ship to quantity, the requested quantity will be shipped actually. That is how the option is there. I'm going to the actions and then see the what's called the change ship confirmation options here. What happens? You choose the requested quantity to ship it. Fine. If you put all the requested quantities will be shipped, that is the option now. I'm going to click on it. So cancel it. So all the requested quantities will be shipped actually. Fine. Three, three, and then one, one, one. Click on ship confirmation. You're not shipping it. So go there. So it is not done. I'm going to click on it. And then once when it is shipped. What happens? We will now see the send shipment advice will be running now. Upon that, what happens? We will now give a cancel now. We will now refresh it. The send shipment advice will be running now. So once when it runs, what happens? The sales order will be updated. Man shipment advice is running. So afterwards, you can now see the send shipment advice will be running now. Ship confirmation document. Send shipment advice is running. So once when it completes, when it gets completed, what happens? We go there. <clears throat> So send ship on advice is running. <clears throat> so once when it runs, the sales order gets updated. Now you can see, you can now see refresh now. The sales order will be getting updated. Now. So we had to wait for the concurrent to complete. So two awaiting shipping, and then the two awaiting shipping we can now have a look at it. Click on refresh. Click on refresh. Click on refresh. Now you can see it's all shipped, and then it just has changed to awaiting billing actually. Fine with that. It is not started. This also has to begin now. These are all shipped. Now it's coming. Fine. Click on refresh now. Fine. You can now see 
it now has to change it. So click on refresh now. Shipped. This has to change actually. Ah, oh, it's no sin saying only orders no sin. This is closed actually. This item which is now ordered as a second one, it is now only this carry case is only for shipping and not for billing. And so the line has got closed actually. This is no adding billing. And then this is no shipped. This is now going to be interface to AR also. And then here it is no shipped. And then click on refresh now. Now nothing is happening. Let us now run the concurrent now. Fine. Go to the place monitor process and then run the concurrent for what happens. Import order invoice. Import order invoice. So we will now interface it to AR now. Import order invoice the concurrent. I now select and then click on OK now. Select it. And then click on OK. I am going to do it now. So here I have a problem that what happens. I have to put the distributed order orchestration. Maybe some setups may be wrong now. I am not clear about it. Fine. When I put my transaction source, it's not working at all. I am going to click on submit. So by which the things will be interfaced to here. It will get billed actually. So in running. And then once when the billing is happening, it will be informing the feeder systems about this now. Fine. Import order invoice is running. So once when this is come, what happens? It will be in, it will be communicating to the feeder system that it is now billed actually. And you want to know. So it will be communicating now. Fine. Import order invoice is running. Upon successful completion, it will be informing the feeder system that what happens? The billing is now complete now. Ah, this is the problem. Input order invoice is not running now. Upon completion of this noisy notify feeder system is now going to run now. So once when it is notified, the order entry will be going to what build and then finally closed also. The line will be going to build and then close now. I'm going to click on it. It is now ready to run now. I'm going to click on it. And go there. You will now click on refresh now. And refresh it. You can now see that what happens. It will be built and then there is no build actually. So the main is built and then the laptop is also built. This is now closed. This is also built actually. Then the two year warranty is also built. This is also built. The main is built now. Fine. Click on refresh now. We now see what happened now. So there is no build. Fine. Now all the lines are closed actually. All the lines are getting closed together. Now we will now go there and then have a look at what happens. The AR now. Fine. Click on it. We will now go to this place and then have a look at the AR. Click on it. Go there. Click on it. I will now go to the AR area. Fine. Go there. You go to the receivables now, and then you go to the billing now, and then query for the 10,008 now. So, managed transactions, we're going to see to click on it. We'll know how to look at the year now. So, go to the managed transactions, and then query on the sales order number 10,008 now. 10,008. I will now leave the uh, one of them is a mandatory now. Which one I can give there? Uh, okay, bill to customer is there. So, this is okay, and these two information are there. Click on search now. Fine. The double star one is there. And go to click on it. You have got it now. Fine. If you click on it, you can now see the AR billing. Now. AR billing will not show you the kit item billing and not its components at all. Fine. Go to click on it. So the laptop is not shown separately as hundred dollars. The kit is not shown as ninety five dollars. No. Fine. Come on. Why the discount is not happening? You know, hundred. Okay. The discount is coming separately. So the laptop kit, clean items, uh, they are not putting it separately. The manual discounts is now appearing separately here now. And then the two year warranty. Fine. The unit price is now coming as well. So the laptop kit, which is having a laptop and then the carry case and then the kit are all coupled together on this price. So AR will not see the component of a kit at all. The component of a kit will never be interfaced. Even though in the laptop kit, we have a laptop which is very much billable. So that will not appear here at all. So only the separate laptop is coming as here. The three components, the three laptops in the laptop kit will not be interfaced to AR at all. Because they are components of a kit actually. So kit, we can negotiate it. Now here, what happens? It's not showing as a separate. The discount is not shown as a separate one, as a separate line actually. It is called manual discount. So manual discount is no known. So this is on the kit item actually. Any doubts on this one? Good then. Now tomorrow we are going to see the ship set and then the fulfillment set. Now the ship set and fulfillment set we are going to see tomorrow. <coughs> And then we'll now begin with it. And then afterwards, we'll now go for the approvals on other things. Any doubts till now? Yes, Good then. So you don't have any doubts. We'll now call it a day now. And then we'll now continue tomorrow. Okay. Bye for now. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you.